Hi everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I'm here in the middle of the week to do a uh, box opening. I sent, last week I sent for two uh, Goodwill blue boxes, the small ones. And they have 10 to 12 items in each box. Hi, Diane. <laughs> uh, so I ordered a denim box, which I had before, and I ordered the uh, miscellaneous apparel box. The reason I ordered those again was because they are on sale, and they're only $14.99 plus shipping. It only comes to like $21 and something. Uh, $23.47. So depending on how many things are in the uh, box, it, uh, this box is, each thing is about $2 a piece. It could be even less if there's more things in there, but uh, usually I've gotten 12 things. So uh, I did peek and go through these boxes a little bit. Uh, I'm not real happy with the denim box, I'll tell you. Uh, the apparel box is slightly better, but there's a reason why these are on sale. Uh, and you'll probably notice why. <laughs> uh, a lot of things are new, that's one thing, but there's very few items that are uh, well-known brands. So you have to go on just how the style and how they look and maybe sizes. Uh, yeah. So there's a couple things that I saw in the denim box that I, I don't even know if I'll put them also in the apparel box. I don't even know if I'll list them. Uh, but we'll see what you think. Um, yeah. So I'm going to show you the denim box first because I have that one over here. <clears throat> the first thing on the top of the box was brand new. It's on a hanger, which isn't always good because usually things that are hung like this, this, this could be from the dollar store. Because they have clothes and they have things hung like this. This is a brand I never heard of. It's called Little D. Little D. This is a small to medium size. It's jean leggings. I'm not going to take them out of this uh, thing. They're just skinny little jeans. And uh, they are... Pocket, real pockets and faux front pockets. That means the pockets, it looks like there's front pockets, but there's not. But they do definitely have the back pockets. That's all it says about it. But they're skinny and they're jegging, so you're very stretchy. These have a sale price uh, tag of $24.99 on them. But we'll see. I'll list those and see what happens. Okay, the next is a label from Loft that I never saw before. I never saw this label. I don't know if you can see it. It says Loft. And the inside label, it says Made and Loved. Made and Loved. Loft. This is a white pair of jeans, size 32, with size 14, high waist skinny. So this is um, has a faux button up here that makes it look sort of like uh, nautical type pants, sailor pants. Is that what they call this? <clears throat> uh, but it's a regular zip and. Uh, not button. It has a bar and hook here. 
So a pair of white jeans have to get those on right away by loft. So those are okay. Oh, they have the uh, hem is a raw uh, fringed hem. Okay, a little pair of denim shorts, which is okay because um, I've sold all kinds of brands from denim shorts, and they don't necessarily have to be a good brand. These are by Celebrity Pink. Uh, they're cuffed, sewn up cuffs. Just let little uh, denim jeans. This looks like a small, yes, a size zero, very small. Little dark wash uh, denim jeans. They're okay. Okay, these are by Gap, uh, 27, this is a true skinny, and these have uh, little zipper pockets on the front, and they have a seam across, they have a lot going on here, <laughs> they have sort of stitching like almost pleated but it's not really pleated and yeah they're very skinny and they have oh, they zip at the bottom that's how skinny they are i mean you have to zip these open to even get them on i suppose over your shoes uh, yeah so those are sort of a cute uh a cute style of jeans from gap and those are okay. When I saw this, I got all excited because I could see they were they were overalls. I've been hunting online for a pair of overalls for myself. I used to have a bunch of overalls when I really gardened for serious, you know. And uh, I had several pairs of overalls. I don't know what ever happened to them. I hope I didn't just throw them away. Because now I'm hunting for them and I can't find any. Because I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for, you know, once you get used to selling on eBay, you want to find them in the Goodwill store. And I've been hunting for them and I haven't found any yet. So I saw that these were overalls and they are, they are nice, lighter weight. I don't want heavy ones. But when I saw the brand, the brand is Justice. So these are kids. Even though they are big kids. I mean, these are girls, size 16 overalls. Really cute, though. Look at that front pocket. It's like a little bunny or a cat. I guess it's a cat. The ears aren't big enough to be a bunny. It's a cat. Uh, yeah, a pair, a nice pair of overalls. They're a little bit distressed here, which is, I think, factory distressed because it's the same on both legs. Uh, yeah. These are cuffed. This cuff is sort of coming, coming apart there. I'll just stitch that a little bit. But a cute pair of size 16 girls overalls. So those are uh, definitely I will put those on. This is the one, this is the thing that I don't know what in the earth to do with. This is called, uh, the brand is Denim Boulevard. It's a small. This is a jacket. But let me button this up so you can see what I what's going on here. I just don't really understand this whole thing. And this is caught around this button, I think. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that. The second button's like that too. 
Hold on a minute. Uh, okay. This is a little denim jacket, which would have been much better if it didn't have all these uh, chains. And some of them are there, some of them aren't there. That's the problem. They've they're they're broken apart. They're not even, and I think that's the problem. So I don't know if I can do something with this. Uh, I don't know what to do with this or whether just to give it back to Goodwill, <laughs> which, which is, uh, I'm really thinking about doing that because, uh, yeah. I don't know. Do you think if I just sort of cut this off at the top and not have these hanging things, uh, then it would just, but then you have some broken parts in the back. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It's sort of it's very strange. Throw that over there. Okay, this is by Express. It's a very wide waistband and it's a very small size. Uh, not sure the size, so it just has the tag saying Express. Oh, wait, here's another tag. Okay, it's a four long legging, high rise. Size four, very dark wash, another legging. Oh, wow. Look at how skinny that ankle thing is. When you have skinny jeans, always measure the ankle uh, width because people want to know that. Uh, it says Denim Perfect Express. So those are, I can list those. I've sold some Express things. They don't sell for very much because uh, they don't sell retail for very much. This is by Victorious Denim Premium Jeans. Never heard of the brand. Victorious. It does have a leather uh, label there that says Victorious on it with wings and whatever. This is a sort of a taupey brown color. Looks like a pair of straight leg denim jeans. Size is 34-32. So these are men's. Yes. You know, if you can't tell any other way, pockets will give it away. Pockets in men's jeans are very deep. Pockets in women's jeans are very shallow. They don't give us much in the way of, like we could get our hand in about that much if it was women's. This is men's. So a pair of men's jeans by Victorious. We'll see, I'll have to look that up. I never heard of that before. <laughs> but they're in good shape. <clears throat> Here is a pair of jeans. What are these? All right, here, standard fit gap 33 32. So these are also men's. Men's pair of gap jeans. Good shape, straight leg. 
Gap will sell okay. Just your basic jeans. Doesn't sell for a whole lot, but uh, yeah, I saw Gap and uh, Gap is a good bread and butter, low priced uh, jean. This is by Wrangler. Advanced Comfort Jean, also men's, 32 by 32. <clears throat> Another pair of straight leg, basic, uh, your basic jeans in men's. You'll see how deep those pockets are. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the uh, W for Wrangler. Okay, I guess this box wasn't as bad as I thought. I was thinking more of that jacket just threw me. <clears throat> that it was pretty, yeah. And I think we have, what, a couple more. I'll have to count these. Izod. This is by Izod. Oh, uh, Relax Fit. Jeans, 33 by 32, another pair of men's jeans. Actually, men's jeans sell in the lower price jeans. Men's jeans seem to sell better. But they, they don't sell for much. So uh, this looks like a straight leg also. Eyes odd. There we go. This bag. One more pair. Lee. Okay, this is a size 32. They're lighter weight. Oh, these are Bermudas. That's good. A pair of Bermudas. Lee. Have the pocket test. These are men's. Uh, men's. These are carpenter. Uh, they have the little hammer loop on there. Carpenter jeans by Lee. It's good. Size 32. Your basic. It's a very basic size. So that is what we got in the. Uh, in the box for denim. Let me count these. The jackets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think 11, if I'm correctly. So it's a right around $2, uh, $2 a piece, uh, 11 items for the denim box. But I don't think that, we'll count it as 10, because I really don't think I'm going to sell that jacket. So, all right, let's go to the uh, box. Um, apparel. This is miscellaneous apparel. Uh, yeah, 11 to 12 items. And I know this box has more than that because I think I counted 15, but there was a pair of socks in here. So I'm not going to we'll count it as 14. Uh, I think these are socks. I'm going to open these. Because I don't know for sure what they are. Uh, yeah, $14.99 with shipping $23.47. So let me see what these are. If they're niche socks, although they're small. Where's my scissors? 
amazing what they oh there you go yeah their knee socks they look like they would be almost uh Socks that what's it what's it called that hug your leg and that I need to wear but don't the jacket you could list as like steampunk in title not sure how it would do nice new jeans it looks like victorious jeans are sold on Amazon okay hi thrifty Nancy. Yeah, these look sort of, and they feel like compression socks. That's the word. Which I wish they were bigger. But a small compression socks, not going to do it for me. But they may sell pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. I'll sit, I'll, uh, I may put those on. Okay, now there's a packing here, new packing. These are by All Heart, and they're scrub basics. This is a full pair of scrubs, like the shirt and the pants. This looks like they'd be handy at the hospital if you work there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, you can't see, but it has a V-neck. I'm sure it has... The same two pockets on the front. Uh, and they are called the Roy Roy set and they're size large. So a pair of scrubs. Now the rest of this box I might add <laughs> this is the most wrinkled box, except for these couple sweater type things. This is the most wrinkled box that I've ever gotten from them. So I'll show you these unwrinkled things first. This is so soft. This is by Forever 21. New with tags. The tag is $17.99. It's a ribbed uh, little body con. Is that what they call them? Little mini dress. It buttons all the way down. And are these real buttons? Maybe not. No, they're just, they look like buttons, but they just are for decor. So it's an over your head, pull over your head, uh, little mini dress. So soft. That would feel wonderful on, I might say. Cute. That's a cute dress. Heather Gray knit dress is all it says about it. In a size small. <clears throat> and another thing that's not wrinkled <laughs> is new with tags. It's by Want It, Wear It, Love It. Or maybe that's not the brand. The brand is almost famous. And the tag is only $12.97. All it is is this cute little crop top it's a sweater i mean it's a ribbed sweater uh, with buttons down the front and straps it's cute but it won't sell her very much but we'll put it on okay the other uh thing about this box this whole box is the size there's a lot of really large sizes in here uh, which is good very wrinkled large sizes this is by <clears throat> j crew reimagined which i think means that they've reused fabric maybe i'm not sure this is a sort of a paper bag waist. 
It has a cord there that uh, makes it tight. It's not elastic, but it has a cord. It's very lightweight and it's not, it looks like pants, but it's not. It's a skirt, but it slits up. It's like a beach cover, I think. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, something you would put over. It's really strange. I thought just the front was, had a slit, but it's both slit front and back. That's sort of strange. But it's not pants, it's a skirt. So I have no idea what to say about that or what to call it or how much to price it for. Uh, yeah. Because at least it's a J. Crew. Yeah, it's reused fabric. It's 100% cotton. Reimagined is what they call this line. But they uh, use, use fabric, which is good. Okay, now I have a men's. This is definitely for hunting or when you want to be seen. You could wear it riding your bike on the road. I don't know. It's a uh, fleece top. It's doing horrible things to the camera here. It's just an over-the-head uh, quarter zip, extra, extra large men's fleece. It's by Realtree. There's the tag, Realtree. It's uh, just a big... Fluorescent orange uh, top. Okay. Here's a skirt. This is by Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto in a 2X. This is, has uh, elastic back on it. It's lined and it's pleated. You can see it's, can you see this pleated here? And it's a big uh, houndstooth, very big houndstooth pattern. Uh, skirt. I'm not sure. It feels like polyester. I'm sure there's a tag in here someplace. <clears throat> but it feels like polyester. Uh, here's a little black and white gingham check size medium. However, it's by uh, Uniform Works. It's a cute uniform. It's a button-down shirt. Uh, has button-down collar. This could be a men's. Yeah. The sleeves are very long, so let me see how it buttons. Yes, this is a men's. A men's uniform work shirt. I wonder what company uses this. It's a very cute shirt. Uh, long sleeve. <clears throat> Another, is this a skirt? No, this is a top with an, like off the shoulder. The sleeves are semi sheer. You can see through the sleeves. This is by Knox Rose, and it is size extra, extra large. 
it's a floral pattern in this maroon, but the sleeves, you can see, oh, and the sleeves are a bell sleeve by Knox Rose. Very soft. <clears throat> This is a little dress, I think. Find a top. This is by Michael Michael Kors, in a size medium. This is a really cute little dress. It's like probably to the knee, and it's all ruffled, layered ruffles. Zips, zips up the back. Can you see? It's a really cute little dress. Summery dress. So that's pretty cute. Something else very wrinkled. Liz Claiborne, extra, extra large. This is a top with big puffy sleeves in this bright pink. Uh, wow, that does things to the camera too. Bright pink color. Liz Claiborne. Oh, and it has a little uh, peplum. Uh, at the bottom and some braiding. This is uh, cotton and rayon. So yeah, it's a good, uh, good large size. This is a shirt by Tommy Hilfiger in an extra large. This is a button up, sort of very lightweight. It's almost semi sheer, but not quite. It has gold. Can you see that gold stripes, sort of sparkly stripes? It buttons at the wrists. It's a long sleeve button. Sleeve, extra large, it's just your button-up shirt. It has a band collar. Doesn't have a collar collar. It has a band collar. Navy blue with gold stripes. Now that I like this pattern. This is by Ava and Viv, uh, 3X, good size. Just a cute little short sleeve shirt. This feels like linen. Oh, and ties, it ties at the, uh, down at the waist at the bottom. Let me see what's in this. Maybe a linen blend. Yes, linen, half linen, half rayon. So, yeah, that's a good, should be a good, uh, easy sell. It's very summery, though. I have to get that on. This, I'm going to save this for the last because I think it was a really nice piece. Because this piece, this has no name. So I have no idea about this. This is just a black dress. It has a tag that says 1112. That's that's all. It's black and it's a knit top. It's not lined. And there's some draping or ruching on the one side, almost like a faux, a faux uh, 
ramp for us. But there's no, uh, there's no brand. It just has this tag. It says 1112. But I did look for a brand on here, and I couldn't find anything. And I also couldn't find what it was made of. But it definitely feels like rayon. This could be an older uh, vintage type dress. So I don't have very high hopes for that. Uh, but this, this is silk. I did look at this before. This is by White House Black Market. And uh, this is the front with the keyhole. And it has two little covered buttons, has a high neck, and then a keyhole opening right there. And it has little ruffled cap. Uh, sleeve. It's almost sleeveless. But it's lined and it's silky soft. And it is silk. So that's a nice piece, I think. And that is the extent of what I got in this box. So because there are more than 12 things, there's like 15 if you count the socks. So that makes it way below $2 a piece. So I think everything in that box is sellable. I'm not sure if this black dress, if I'll list that or not. We'll see how it looks when I get it on the mannequin. Yeah, silk. <laughs> the black dress I could list for Halloween goth. Good idea. Uh, the black and white uniform could be a chef. Whoa. Except it has long sleeves. Uh, Real tree sells hunting clothes. Okay, that makes sense. The jacket you could list. Oh, that was the other box, yeah. Yeah, so I guess it was all right. I think the box they're they're well worth forty nine uh fourteen ninety nine. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Bumblebee's fall box that she's getting ready for me. I think. Uh, I don't know. She hasn't announced when it's coming or not. But uh, yeah. But this was this is just I ordered these once in a while to tide me over because I was out of things again to list. I was sort of just going through and listing, relisting things again. Uh, I don't have a very big sale going. Uh, Fifteen percent and twenty percent. Twenty percent is I think just the weekend, Friday and Saturday and Sunday, and I'm not getting many sales. So, yeah. So now Sunday, it just, I doubt if I will be on Sunday. The reason being, I'd come on if it wasn't that my son and my grandson are coming out to try to remove the ivy from my chimney and my roof. And it's blocking my chimney. So please say a prayer for them on Sunday that they don't fall off my roof because it's the highest roof of my house and it's the most slanted, you know. It's like this instead of like this. And my son had to tell me it'll be Jack's first time up on a roof. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so that makes me nervous. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous about it, but I had a tree guy come to look at some trees I want uh, taken down. 
some dead trees. And uh, if my son can't take care of the ivy, he says he can. So at least I have a second thing if my son can't do it. But there's no reason why he can't. I mean, my son used to work doing roofing. So there's no problem with him being on the roof. It's I'm a little nervous about my grandson. I suppose if I told him that he had to tie a rope around his waist and tie it to the other chimney, he'd probably be insulted. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Sunday, say a little prayer. Keep them safe up on the roof. Uh, yeah, hopefully they can get this ivy off of the, my roof and the uh, chimney which is the most important part. Uh, it seems to tear off. The tree guy took a big swath of it off of the chimney, and it seems to come off fairly easily. So the chimney is painted white. Maybe that helps that it didn't, you know, go into the chimney as much as some ivy can go into brick, you know. It's still brick, but it's painted, so I don't know. Anyway, so I may not be here on Sunday. I will do a double week the next Sunday and try to come on uh, during the week sometime or something else. So thank you for joining uh, Diane and Thrifty Nancy. Thanks for your uh, input. It's a good idea about that black dress. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I will be back sometime early in the week if I'm not back here on Sunday. The only way I would come on Sunday is if it rains and they can't do the job or if they leave really early, if they come early and leave early. So. We'll see. So thanks for joining me. And I will uh, see you in the next video. Bye.